Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Gears 5. Where we left off, we have reached this location after obtaining the rocket and the Hammer of Dawn satellite. And we are now inside this facility, and looking out this window, there's a lot of rejects out there. I'm, I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is a protective glass, okay. Had to look at it from the side view. Alright, so. Uh, we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, try the other one. Maybe if we're lucky, this will make that thing start barreling and spinning at a fast pace that it just crushes and demolishes all those. Le push. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the armor out. There's a platform over there. Or the shot. Ah, uh, fine. Jack, see what you can do? Um... I can't believe that knack of things still works. Oh! Oh, you guys are dumb. It's gonna crush them, huh? Oh, it's not slowing down. Oi, what? What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a pain in my tuckus. I was hoping it would just go so fast that it would just destroy them, but apparently not. Mama. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, there's no way for us to get over there without being seen. Okay, they're acting! Hey, no difference to me! Delete these malfunctions! Jack, shock trap! It's dead! Ow! Okay, now let's stop this thing. That was easy. Really, just had to funnel them all in here. I... Ooh, up, 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 up. Okay. No one get hit, please. Oh, I was about to say, Jack, are you about to get killed? Okay, so where's the... Oh, it's right here. Oh, come on, come on, let's get this thing. Help me! We gotta pull them together! How about you shut your trap, guys? What the Seriously. hell? Why isn't this stopping? Break you like a toast. I don't know. We'll have to discuss that later. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, so far, this is not a very hard swarm to deal with. Especially since they're all killing them for me. Uh, oh. That's not good. What the hell got me? Anytime you want to pick me up. <laughs> wow, that guy was a dummy. That should be all of them. Nope. Watch up, it's speeding up. Snatcher, Oh God. Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Um, 
I'm gonna pretend I didn't waste my ammo on shooting that thing with an explosive thing, and I'm just gonna follow them. I'm just getting a little iffy. Come on then. If it's bad news, we should at least verify it. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Sphera. Can you do that? Yeah, well, uh, we'll carry it to the skiff. Yeah, well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, uh -huh. oh. let's get back to the skiff. Hold on, there's something here. UIR tag Captain you know, Tagger. Paddock's sending folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. He's lost up enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You covered. Okay. Uh, translated to Tyran. I die content. In the name of peace, we gave everything soldiers could give. As I write the last of my comrades' battle to keep the traitorous major at bay, they all know the COGS missile is imminent. Sky is willing, it will finally put an end to this. And still they fight. Remember us. Please return my tags to my family for them. I wanted a better world. Ray, Tess, Alton, my last thoughts are of you. Rook, Corel, A. Tagger, Captain, 119 FD 592, Andros Palace. Well, crap. <clears throat> Oh, you guys aren't going without me. Time to get out of here. Wait, hold on. There's something over here. What's this? Ah. Jack, need some light in here. Aha! Uh -huh. That thing was jammed with components. Not enough though to upgrade it. That's fine. That is completely fine. Nothing over. Oh, I see that. Give me that. R really? One. Is that enough? It is to upgrade some. Okay, I can either do that or I can get the last upgrade at this. Yes, stealth fetch. <clears throat> Let's get that. So that way he can fetch weapons for me without having to be seen. That'll definitely be useful. Okay. Everyone, let's go. Get the other side. What's that sound? Sounds almost like something's burrowing. Ooh, ammo. All right, which way? Okay, there okay. is nothing. Let's go. Going. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Oh. Do we have to? Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> How does it feel to be on the other end of the turn? I was about to say, please tell me I still have my claw. Okay, everything's loaded. Everything is loaded. Okay. What's this? Okay, that's the last car. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, shit. The door's welded shut! Jack, rip the door and hurry! Surprise in no I hear surprise. We've got more swarm coming in! Can we hold them up? Tells me we're not gonna have a warm welcome in here. This looks like a place for very bad things. I don't like this. Oh, now it's letting me move faster. Boss, Del, when do you get the other side? Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought we were gonna get ambushed. I felt like that was a good ambush spot. But I guess not. And lag. Come on, come on. Load all the assets. There we go. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? Pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're headed straight back to the airfield or not. Files is right. Oh man, I'm saying it here to myself. Unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't happen though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities and said, Oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Is there something here? Oh! There's a component. I did not check over here when I first came. Okie dokie. Got that. I got one component to my name. Let's head back to the airport. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll finally be done with the desert. Okay, big fella. Let's get you aboard. Okay. You try. I'll navigate. Yeah, yeah. You'll navigate. <clears throat> so our Paddock's Nomad's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts Paddock, we trust Bear. 
So by the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, Boz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Hey, I've noticed something, that the swarm seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to... To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Hadfield's just ahead. Park the skip as close as you can. I think it's kinda heavy. There we go. And so we meet again. Uh, how do we go in? Do we go in the same way we came out? So I'll just go over here. Yeah, there's something over here. Oh! Get that thing to bear. Lead the way. A mulcher. And some ammo. Okay, I'm good on ammo. Let's go. I got my mulcher. Where's Bear? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring. So I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Okie dokie. Huh. Wait, if Baird's going back to New Affair with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly, sorry. Oh, didn't you crash at basic training? Oh, I had a slight missing. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. <clears throat> What's this? Hey, there. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Okay. Barrier. Jack creates a temporary one-way energy shield to protect his squad mates in co-op. Only the Jack... Oh, yeah, we already know about that. Okay. So, that looks like to be the last ability for support-based abilities. Oh, and it's one way that you can shoot through it, but enemies can't you know, shoot through it on the other side. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll put that on right now, sure. Nice. Stalled. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here. Swarm coming in. Short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it. Delta, come on. Um. Okay. Well, I'm good on ammo, so. I was wondering why I was being given a mulcher. At the beginning of the entrance. Try the barrier. Shut up. Uh-oh. 
come into my house uninvited. You pay the price. They are not happy we got this. Got another one. We're not done. Everyone, get to the tarmac before Baird loses his ride home. Oh, we gotta go and make sure he doesn't lose his way back to the base. Ah, uh, how do we get over there? How do we get over there? Oh, is it right? Is it? Is it right here? Nope. No. Oh. Duh. Duh! They're right on top of us! We're gonna clear this tarmac or Bear's not going anywhere! Come on, Delta! I got something for that. Take him! Greetings, <laughs> Crap. Stay down. Okay, that feels secure. Not there to be the now. Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skiff. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my fault. Oh, okay, I was about to say, am I gonna have to fight all of them again? Like, I'm seeing them go through it. I thought it was safe. Children, more oh. What is it now? My people. Transporting the other vehicles. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. Okay, here we go. I was about to say, where am I supposed to go? They got ripped apart. What the hell happened? Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. Oh, yeah. 
clear. Let's check on the beacons. Uh, are the guys that we just saw okay? Or did they just get killed? Oh no, they're good. Okay. And components. <coughs> Paddock, mate, you hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Okay, we're gonna Sweet. launch a rocket. These nomad skins one more time. Hey, give him a break. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. Oh, where to now? The hangar. Everything's in place. It's time we put that rocket together. Sounds right to me. And anyway, I'm sick of staring at all this sand. So let's get it done and head home. Okay. I want to try getting on this now. So, how about you drive? Really? Ah, uh, I have to drive. I was hoping that he would actually drive automatically. Fine. I'll drive. Back to the hangar. I got an itch right here on my back. There we go. Peesh. You know. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah. Well, I'll take that again. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see everyone getting along. How long will that last? I say about a few minutes. I think I might as well extend this video a little hangar. bit. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote. Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. It's always this area for some reason that keeps making me lag. It's... Wait. Oh, the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. You can understand why you never lost this rocket. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. Part of me feels like something bad is gonna happen. I always get a bad feeling in games like Gears of War because I know the game. Something bad yeah, always happens. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembly. Look out! I knew. Wait, what? There's a bloody snatcher in here. Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place. Oh. Come in. Whatever doesn't kill you, right? Okay. 
I can't move! Having to face two of those things was dumb. Especially dealing with NPCs that don't know how to take cover in a room like I did. Which I feel like all of them in real life would have done that because it'd be smarter. So how the hell are we gonna realign this thing? It looks like we're gonna have to use the lift. Jack, get this thing aligned. <coughs> Alright, we're back in business. Then climb aboard the rocket. You can ride it straight to the launch pad. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are we literally going to be riding this giant moving thing? Doobies, incoming! Clear them off the rocket! No, I need this. Jack, shot back. Have fun. Hold it. He's down. All right. Get down. Throw a switch. See what happens. We're literally on top. That lag was not very fun to watch. I'm sorry, everyone, but I can't do anything about that. I have to set it as best as, as best as I can handle on this computer. It needs a processor um, a little bit stronger than mine, so I'm dealing with what I got. But it's still a good computer, because I'm still, as you can see, I'm still able to play this and record this. It's just some cutscenes were lag. <laughs> Anytime you can stop. All right, rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. 
No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. I saw something big, though, even though it was lagging, I was still able to see there was something big moving. Okay, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. successfully raised in real life who would want a tower that whole thing tilts with people in it Cut it. need some spot translation wait a minute you initiated launch uh maybe then get the hell out of there now oh oh crap open the thing Open the thing! Move your butt cheeks! Tower. Come on! Oh, the 
this way, this way. Ah! Uh, oh, ammo. I'm not liking being tilted. Push, 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 push! So it tells me we don't want to be in the sand. Dodging doesn't work! Oh, shit. oh come on! No. I gotta get Dale's first. I hate this oh, thing! On. behind us! It's behind us! Lost a leg. 
He has a robot leg! We're clear. I didn't know that. Fly! Fly! Ascend! Please tell me they're gonna make it. Who was that? Act 4, Chapter 1, Home Front. Cog controls? You should blame your flying. Uh, ow. Yeah, I think I sprained my spine. So this is New Ephira. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, <laughs> welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baron. Those are really big robots right there. Off to you. Hey. Thank you. Why? There's... By the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? <clears throat> well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids. Gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. <laughs> the swarm have their queen. <coughs> means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't, because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No, I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? You're outgunned here, Jin. Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10. Oh, damn it. They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. 
you can help us end this. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back for Vassar. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just hand <coughs> the and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, you'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. I I'm wondering when this is all gonna end so that I can finally... Oh. Oh. First, help me plant this beacon down the street. We'll have to help you plant that beacon down the street in another episode, because I actually have to end this episode here. Very sorry for some of the cutscenes, like, having that weird static audio and all that. I've tried fixing... I don't know what's making the audio do that static thing. It must be, like, the processing speed. I, I don't know. All I know is it, it just seems to, like, not go away. I don't know how to fix it. But... If you watched the video all the way to the end, then, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are looking forward to future videos to come onto my channel. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, ding that bell so that you guys can stay notified of the next content that uploads onto my channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. It's delicious.